What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance here, and I know it's kind of late for a live stream, but this is something really fucking important. Um, I actually am going to be inviting everybody I can into this. Because I am right now pretty damn pissed off. What up, Lance? What up, Eric? What up, Sam? Alright, so. I'm sitting here playing campaign mode and stuff on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex and chill with my team on Oscillator Racing, you know, getting a few drift runs in and chilling. When I get this message, this message from my brother Ian. No, you don't know who Ethan is. He's literally like one of my best friends. He's pretty much my brother. Like, all right. So, long story short, about Ethan, myself, and Ricardo. Ethan and Ricardo started a drift team out of their home country of Trinidad about five years ago. And at that time, I was looking for a team to join. You know, because I do drift and stuff like that. And, you know, I came across them and... You know, long story short, I sent them a demo video of what I can do. I joined their team and da da da. Well, over time, you know, they became more than just teammates. They became brothers to me. But, uh, you know, fast forward five years later to right now, I get this message from Ian or Ethan about my buddy Devin talking shit, saying that he knows everything about racing and that, you know, drifting isn't a real style of racing and that, you know, Ethan or Rick doesn't really know what it really takes to be a driver. Well, here's a little fucking reality check for your ass, Devin. You don't ever talk shit about my brothers. Not Ethan, not Ricardo, not Eric, nobody. Yes, I'll give you credit. You might be a damn good driver, and I've seen you drive, dude. Not going to lie, you're pretty damn good. But that's on circuit racing, dude. See, what you don't realize, man, is the drift world, it's more than just, you know another type of racing. It's a way of life to a lot of people like myself. To myself, Ethan and Ricardo, it's more than just, you know, a way of life. It's a place where we fit in, where you can be yourself. And there is no right or wrong way to do it. And so for you to sit there and say that drifting is stupid and worthless and, you know, it's not really a true form of racing, guess again, motherfucker, Formula D1 drifting, man. Look it up. Yeah, you might know a lot about circuit racing and shit, and I'll give you that. But you know zero about the drift world. Oh, yeah, I grew up in that shit. Okay. I grew up in that shit because of my older brother. He got me into the Fast and Furious movies, which got me into doing that. And because of that, and because of Ethan and Ricardo, I'm 
fucking one of the literally one of the best drifters on the planet. If you don't believe me, look my name up. Guarantee you my drift records and everything show up on there. So for you to sit there and say that you know more about a certain style of racing that you know nothing about, that I've never seen you compete in, that I've never seen you put your title up for, you know, you're just a fucking fake, dude. See, you claim to be the best in circuit racing, and that whether that's true or not, I can't say. But you can ask any motherfucker here. You can ask Ricardo. You can ask Ethan. You can ask Eric. You can ask anybody watching this live stream right now, man. I am one of the best. And when it comes down to it, I put my title on the line. Every fucking day, like a real champion does. Okay. I put my rep on the line every day for them. And let me tell you something. You know, they're not just my brothers or my teammates within the drift world. They're my brothers and my teammates outside of that, too. We're family. Inside of the drift world, outside of it, don't matter. We're family. They've earned my respect. But let me tell you something. You, however, have lost my respect. The minute you talk shit about anybody within my family is the minute you lose my respect. And guess what, dude? You done lost my respect, Devin. By talking shit about my brother Ethan the way you did, you lost my respect, man. Yeah, I'll give you credit. You know a lot about cars. Well, so do I. Yo, what up, Wenda? What up, Angel? What up, Sam? What up, Greg? Sorry, I didn't see you guys pop in. It literally just now came up. But, you know, it's ridiculous, man. You act like, yeah, you know, racing is what you want to do with your life. That's fine. That's great, actually, man. Like, I'm proud of you for wanting to do that. Don't get me wrong. But here's one thing you don't realize. Whether it's in-game on a regular track, no matter what it is, dude, racing is racing. It's a way of life. Because let me tell you something. Before I ever did music, racing on games is what I did. Every day I practiced. I busted my fucking ass. Every goddamn day, whether I screwed up or not, I still trained. And even if I screwed up the tiniest little bit, I started all over. I pushed myself to the limit. You know, I trained with Ethan and Rick for the last five years to get as good as I am now. I've earned the title as a Drift King. But you, however, have not earned the title of being called my brother because of what you've done. And that goes for anybody here, man. Every single one of these motherfuckers in here right now, Devin, they know me. They know I would stick up for every single one of them just like they would do for me. And for you to go... And disrespect one of my family members like you did. That's just wrong, dude. Like, you had no reason to do what you did. Because, see, here's what you don't get. When you disrespect anybody watching this right now, or you disrespect anybody within my family, you're disrespecting me. And I'm not okay with that. You blatantly disrespected my little brother, Ethan, 
by doing what you did and saying what you said then. Which, honestly, was totally uncalled for. So, as retaliation for what you did to my brother, I am no longer going to be helping you out with your YouTube channel or like I was going to. I'm no longer going to be making an intro for you, for your channel. I am no longer going to help you out in anything that you do, man. And I am not your teammate. Not that I ever was to begin with, but, you know, I considered it. I honestly was considering it, man. And, you know, for you to go off and do what you did, that's not okay with me. Sorry, guys, I keep looking over at the door, and I keep seeing it looks like this doorway in my room, but it's not. It's actually my bedroom door shut. But, Devin, what you did was wrong, man. You sit here and act like you're a know-it-all, like you know better than everybody. And I'll give you credit, you do know a lot about cars, man. I'll give you that. But when you claim to know about the drift world more than anybody else, like you know everything about it, that's where you're wrong. That's where your failure lies. You see, I worked my ass off day and night to build up my reputation to what it is now. Just like Ethan and Ricardo did. Just like anybody within the gaming community has built their reputation up. See, what you did, man, was wrong. You disrespected my little brother, Ethan, and I'm not okay with that. And like I said, man, yeah, you know a lot about racing. I'll give you that. But you know zero about my family and about what the drift world is really about. It's not just about sliding cars. It's not just about getting sideways as fast as you can. It's about brotherhood. It's about family. It's about being there for one another. See, what you don't realize is the drifting community is far larger than you or me. See, within the drifting community, there is no right or wrong way to ride. How you drift is how you drift. How you drift is who you are, man. Like I said, there is no right way to do it. There is no wrong way to do it. How you do it is how you do it. Whether you catch a shit ton of angle and go reverse entry or you catch just a little bit of angle and hold that shit, it don't matter. Drifting is drifting. Racing is racing. And for you to go and disrespect not only one of my teammates, but one of my best friends and one of my brothers, who I've known for many years now, that don't sit well with me, dude. And you can ask anybody here. Me taking shit from you is done. And see, you think that I'm just going to help you after what you did to my little brother Ethan. Well, guess what, dude? Not going to happen. Not after what he showed me. I saw what you said. I saw the screenshots, man. And I'm sorry to say, dude, but unless you apologize to him and put yourself in his shoes and try to see things from his point of view, then you may as well just unfriend me now and block me. Because I do not tolerate anybody disrespecting anybody in my family. And that includes anybody watching this right now, Devin. What you did to my little brother was wrong. Like I said, I commend you and I respect you for the fact that you want to become a professional racer. 
But here's what you don't get, dude. It's not just about circuit racing. Yeah, I'll give you credit. Doing circuit style racing, huge part of it, man. Very huge part of it. But a lot of the times, a lot of these professional drivers, they do use drifting to a certain extent. Why do you think I'm able to hit corners so damn fast and hard and well like I do? It's because I drift. I practice. But unlike you, man, I'm not one to sit there and bash on somebody like you did. And you can talk all the shit you want. And I get that, Devin. And you're right. There are different types of racing, man. But when it comes down to it, you sit there and act like you know every style of racing when you don't. And yo, shout out to my brother Ethan, man. What's good, bro? And yo, Aiden, that's great, dude. Thanks for filling me in, bro. But one thing you don't realize, Devin, is yes, you're right. There are different styles of racing. And I'll give you that. But when it comes down to you bashing straight up on my brother Ethan like you did, man, that's not okay with me. Hell yeah, dude, that's what's up. By the way, guys, this is my buddy Young Fox. I actually work with him. A lot of times he is from Freak Show Records. So, Ethan, guys, this is Young Fox, Young Fox, Aiden, this is my brother Ethan, Eric, and everybody else. Like, these are my family members right in here, Aiden. But, Devin, and I get what you're saying, Devin. I really do, man. Don't get me wrong. I see what you're saying, and I, I respect what you're saying, dude. But see, that right there is your problem, man. And see, and that's your thing, dude. Like, And I respect that you don't do drifting too much. And I respect that a lot. You know, we each have our own style of drifting. Or style of racing. Whatever it is that you do. But for you to go... And disrespect one of my family members like that, man. That's not okay with me. That's not okay with anybody that knows me. That knows Ethan. That knows Rick. That don't sit well with me, dude. So like I said, man. You either show some fucking respect and be a man. And apologize to Ethan for what you said. Or you may as well just say fucking get rid of me, dude. Take your fucking pick. Are you going to be a man and apologize to him? Or are you going to fucking be a little bitch about it and not apologize? And if you're going to be a little bitch about it, I may as well unfriend you myself. Unless you want to do it. Either way, it's cool with me, dude. Hi, right, man. That's good to hear, guys. That really is good to hear. But like I said, Devin, I'm not trying to jump down your throat, bro. I'm really not. But understand this, man. When you disrespect one of my family members, you're basically disrespecting me. And when you disrespect me, you're disrespecting a whole lot of people that know me. 
And I'm not just talking like a little group. I mean a whole lot of motherfuckers. Trust me. I know a lot more people than I actually show. Most of them are undergrounders, but trust me, dude. When you disrespect one undergrounder, you disrespect a lot of motherfuckers. Trust me. So like I said, dude, I'm not trying to act like a hard ass or, you know, jump down your throat or anything, bro. But when it comes down to my family, you know, like, they're everything to me, man. Ethan's my brother. You know, this is the motherfucker that was hard on my ass. Like, he literally, honestly, and I'll be straight up honest with you, man. If it wasn't for Ethan being as hard on me as he was, I wouldn't be the driver that I am now. It's because of Ethan being hard as fuck on me about every little thing that I became the good driver that I am now. It's because of him that I'm one of the world's best. It's because of him and my brother Ricardo that I became as good as I am. Because of him and Rick and them showing me what it really takes, you know, I became who I am because of that. And yeah, and I get your side of, you know, saying, you know, like there's a difference between real racing and racing and like, you know, in-game stars and, and I get it. And you're right, to a certain extent there is that line. But when it comes down to it and you can't do it or you don't have the money to do it, you do the next best thing and do it through gaming. And trust me, there's just as big of a community for all styles of racing and just like there is in real life. And, you know, one thing I've learned over the years, man, and this is completely true, no matter whether it's in-game, in real life, you know, racing is racing. No matter whether you do drift racing, no matter whether you do grip, time trial, no matter what kind of racing you do, man, racing is racing. And if you're a driver, and whether it's in-game or in real life, you still get the same amount of respect you still have a reputation to maintain. It's all the same. And a lot of people don't get that. To people like me, it's all we got. Oh yeah, of course I got my music and shit like that, but that's nothing compared to what I have, you know, as far as, you know, with being in the racing community. And, like I said, I don't just do drift racing. I do all styles of racing, you know? Like, I do off-road. I do monster truck style racing. I do stock car racing. I do every style of racing out there because it's what I do best. Doing racing style gaming is what I'm best at. Yo, Frankie, what's good, bro? But in case you guys are wondering, on a side note, I will be doing some gameplay in multiplayer of this later on because I finally got the internet fixed on this. It's back up and running, and it is the updated version of this. I actually wound up picking it up, and a good buddy of mine actually ran this through his computer before giving it to me, so it is fully updated. So thank you. You know who you are, you fucking rock. But uh, this is actually the first one, but it's the newer Reflex Edition, so that's going to be pretty dope to do some gameplay of that for y'all. Um, I'm about halfway through campaign mode right now. I've been playing the shit out of that.
And see, and that's the thing, dude. And yeah, to you, it might be pretending, but for people like myself who don't have the luxury of actually going out and doing what we want to do, like, you know, I've always been told that I need to do professional drift racing because of how good I actually am. And I've done regular simulators through various people and, you know, different companies and shit before. And a lot of them were like, dude, you need to be doing this on a professional level. You need to be driving. But with me not being able to do that due to a lack of money, and, you know, due to medical issues with my family and me not being able to work because of that, I have to do the next best thing. So for me, doing it in game like I do, that's as real as it's ever going to get for me. And I know for you, it might be pretend, but for a lot of people like myself, man, who don't have that luxury... It's the next best thing for us. And it's like I said, dude, whether it's in-game, whether it's real, you can ask anybody here. Racing is racing. Whether you do it in-game or in real life on a regular track, racing is racing, man, no matter what. At the end of the day, it's all the same. It's all one sport. I yeah, there's there are versions of the sport, but it's still the same thing at the end of the day. And believe it or not, dude, they do hold very real tournaments through games like Osaluto Racing, which is built around both grip and drift racing. And I do both. I compete every month. As a matter of fact, I actually do have a competition for a grip track coming up real soon. So I am looking forward to that tournament with some buddies of mine. So shout out to everybody in the Osaluto Racing Grip and Drift Club. Love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome dudes. I definitely enjoy kicking it with y'all, man. Exactly. Didn't see now you're catching on, dude. That's how I got my skills as well was through various, you know, simulators and stuff like that. Oh hell yeah, dude. Like you ain't kidding. You are not kidding one bit, Frank. I've been on there, dude. They've got some They've got a lot of tough drivers, man. Not going to lie. And believe it or not, dude, if you check out Osaluto Racing, man, the competition on there is just as fierce, man. It's just as crazy. Not even going to lie. Like, the amount of competition and the seriousness that goes into it is crazy. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I like to see, man. And believe it or not, dude, I actually used to have a wheel. A long time ago, I actually did have one, but it actually wound up going dead on me. It was one of the older ones from like the late 90s, early 2000s. So and I used to have one, but I haven't really been able to get one since, which it does suck. It really does suck. But like I said, that's why I like to train with games like Need for Speed Pro Street because I'm able to use the Wii Remote as a regular steering wheel. Nice, exactly, and that's the thing, dude. Like, like a lot of guys don't realize that when you're playing these mobile games, you're using your phone or your device 
as a steering wheel. I mean, it does help in a lot of ways. It's very much the same as using a regular wheel. Only you don't have the e-brake, you know, or the gas pedal or the steering wheel itself. Yo, yeah, catch you later, bro. Um, and hey, Frank, before you go, dude, I will invite you when I go to do some Modern Warfare Reflex. So be ready for that. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not trying to jump. Like, you know, the point is, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm not trying to jump down anybody's throat, but when I see somebody disrespecting, and this goes for anybody on here that knows me, you know, like if I see somebody screwing with somebody that I know where they tell me something's going on, of course I'm going to jump out and say something to that person that's said something. You know, that's what you do for family. That's what you do for friends, man. Right, exactly, dude. I mean, and don't get me wrong. I mean, the Nintendo way I have is pretty updated. So, I mean, I do have some good shit on it. Not going to lie. I got some pretty bomb-ass games. Not going to lie. Like, I can't afford, like, the newest shit as much as I wish I could. But, you know, I make do with what I got, you know? Uh, No, dude, it's actually going to be on here. But the live stream will be downloaded and posted to YouTube. So I'm basically going to be doing an hour long live stream on like however long of a live stream on here. And then I'm going to be posting it to YouTube as a video. Uh, depends on which one, dude. If you're talking about the ES logo, like the one that I have in my profile picture, that was my doing. But the actual Extreme Speeds logo, which is what ES stands for, that was actually done by Ethan. Right, and I actually did write Ethan, and that's what I just said, dude. Like, you know, I know that you created the original version, Ethan, with the actual pistons and shit. Like, I know you created that version, and then I did the ESDK logo, you know, for my... So, if you guys don't know, man, the five-year mark of ES is coming up really fucking soon. Which, hang on, um, yo, Michael, which one are you talking about? The one that I use or the one that Ethan uses? Like I said, like, which one are you talking about, Michael? The one that I use or one that Ethan uses? Take your pick. Hang on, the black and white one. Are you talking about the one that's on my profile picture right now with the gold crown? And the gold lettering, is that the one you're talking about? Or are you talking about the regular Extreme Speeds logo? Because like, I'm honestly confused as shit. <laughs> All right, that sounds good, dude. Like I said, Devin, I'm not sure, man, because I did spend all day, you know. Like, you guys can tell, I actually did move a lot of shit around in my room. Like, I'm now sleeping on an air mattress out in the living room. So, you know, I got a lot of shit moved around and done today, so... You know, I may try to get to it tomorrow if I can. If I don't have anything, 
something going on tomorrow, I definitely will try to get to it. Believe it or not, dude, um, we're actually just moving stuff around because, you know, believe it or not, like, we got a lot of stuff going on that, you know, we're actually moving things around. We occasionally do that, you know, for spring cleaning, you know, and that kind of thing, so. But hopefully I will be getting my regular bed back very soon. Not that I mind the air mattress that I got, because the air mattress I got is actually hella fucking comfortable. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I can legit lay down on the thing and be out within, like, literally a couple minutes. Like, that thing is super fucking comfortable. That, and I also am working on converting this room into my work area, my studio, my office, you know, that kind of thing. I am working on that. No, 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 no. We're not losing the house or anything, dude. We're not losing the house. It's just I'm actually, I actually spoke to my mom. We're actually converting this into my workspace for my music, my YouTube channel. So this is basically going to be my setup for my office for the next few months. At least until we can get, like, you know, a good setup for me. That and plus we do have a lot of stuff that we're doing for yard sale this year. And just basically trying to get everything in order and organized and shit. Because we are doing a yard sale this year. Thank God I can finally get rid of some shit that I don't need. But, uh, you know, I guess that we're basically converting and repairing this room as much as we can. Like, there's a lot, like, behind here, I know you guys can't see it, but the wall behind, right here, that's kind of like catty, like catty corner to this, is actually, you can see the brick through the paint. Like, not the actual brick, but you can, like, see the outlines of it in paint. And it's pretty cool, but it's cool as shit. All right, thanks, Michael. Like, no matter what, dude, thank you, man. Like, we definitely, you know, appreciate your support of the team. But, uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, you know, like, the five-year anniversary of mine, Ethan, and Ricardo's Extreme Speeds Drift Team is coming up, like, soon, man. It's been a wild ride. Like, legit, man. Like, it's hard to believe that it's been five years coming up in the next few months. You know, it's like I told Rick and Ethan earlier, man. Like, despite whether it's been good times, bad times, in between shit, you know, honestly, I wouldn't change the last five years for nothing. I think that I'm back. There are a couple of things I would change if I could, but there's not really anything I can do about those things right now, if at all, if ever. But aside from those certain things that I really wish I could and would change about what all happened in the past with the team and just in my personal life, you know, I wouldn't change anything else, man. Like I said, you know, I couldn't ask for two better brothers than Ethan and Rick. Like, it's because of them that I'm the person that I am, like, you know. Hell, I'll be honest with you, when I first did stuner.net, I went in there not knowing a damn thing. And I'll admit, people made fun of me when I first put my first couple designs out. Because I'll admit, they weren't the greatest, they were kind of, eh. But, you know, as I got better and I started to progress and learn how each part fits, 
you know, each, you know, car in a certain way, I started building off that and gaining more respect. You know, man, like, I know I might not show it. I mean, I do know a lot of the times I look happy, but, you know, just like anybody else, man, I go through my good days, I have my bad days, and then I have my occasional really fucking bad days, which, you know, I'll get to that issue on that certain subject in a way later date. But, you know, just like everybody else, man, I do have my good days and I do have my bad days. And do I try to have a positive outlook on the bad days? Yeah. It might not always work, but, you know, at least I make an attempt. You know? Anyways, y'all, I'm about to hop off here, get set up for some COD, Modern Warfare Reflex, both campaign and multiplayer edition. And I will see you guys in just a little bit, man. And hey, Michael, thank you for the immense support, brother. It definitely means a lot to us, dude, for sure. Shout out to everybody watching. Shout out to Ethan. Shout out to every motherfucking body that watches, man. I love you guys. You guys are incredible. You guys are amazing. And if you guys have been supporting mine and Ethan and Rick's team, Extreme Speeds, all these years, you fucking rock. You guys will be getting a free custom wallpaper done by me for a free download as an anniversary of the team set. So with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance. And I will catch you on a bit, man. Peace.